Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is day 19 as the Democratic Republic of Congo. So I am heading north now. As we talked before, I've actually took Bria down here and the capital up here. I sent some units down. Uh, they must be holding there. I thought I sent more units down there. Let's take a look at the, what's happened. So I've got some civilian casualties there. Civilian casualties. Oh, okay, so we've had all. They were there and they kept on going and nobody was holding that. So that's probably what my problem is right there. Um, I have units flying up here, which was where I was heading next. And so this is now open. And I've got my rail gun up here as well, so I'm going to go ahead and have them move on in. And I'm going to take these units here and have them come over here and deal. Well, yeah, I'm going to have them deal with this issue down here. And I'm going to check on both of these. So I've got three units left here. And three units left there. So I have taken, I've lost one of my fighter units, but that's okay. I'm going to take this unit here and have them deal with the unrest that I have up in this area. Got my National Guard unit in there. My National Guard unit over here is fighting off these guys, and they're doing okay. Um, so just so you're tracking, normally by this phase in the game, I should have an AWACS. I've got another two hours left before the AWACS comes out. Once I get an AWACS, I can see where everything is at. I'll fly it up here and be able to figure out what's going on. I've sent both of these units back down here to basically recuperate. My elite helicopter was shot up pretty good. Um, so I moved those back. I'm building out another rail gun. Let's see what else we got going on here. I'm building out some more arms industry to increase fuel production. This is not producing anything right now, so we are going to go through. I've got my AWAX building over there, so I'm not going to worry about him. I'm going to produce more armored infantry, or uh, mobile infantry. And I've got my resources going on over here. I'm going to build another local industry over here. So local industry you can only go up to three and I can go up to five here. I'm building my third one here. He's got 15 minutes left. I've already got my three there. I have seized the city here. I'm going to go ahead and start to produce my uh, arms industries here. and start to build one over here. Okay, so looking at what we have over here, we've got the engine upgrade. I believe this is for my helicopter gunship. And then on my strike aircraft, I am building out to the SU-27 from the SU-24 Fencer. So that, and so let me go back and show you something on here. So my secret weapons that I have here, to be able, so I've got the flying lightning. To be able to move up to this, I have got to upgrade my helicopters over here to the MI-24 standard before I can get to that next level on the secret weapons. Uh, let's check out on the rail gun. <clears throat> There's no restrictions on the railgun, so I'm going to be able to build the railgun up. I'll have to do the IGLA SVS-46, which is this one here. So that'll finish me out.
And then, uh, so that, just so you're aware of that, with your secret weapons, sometimes there is restrictions based on these uh, weapons over here. Um, let's go back out. Let's check out where we are at as far as our victory point race here. We are number four right now. Myanmar is back in front of us with Brazil and, of course, the UK, who's leading our alliance. So we're okay with that. Once I finish securing this area up here, my next move is to go north once I get uh, this area secured, secure this last area, and then up here, and then the rest of these areas. Hopefully by then I will have my AWACS, because I don't want to... I'll be, I'll be moving my infantry through here, not completely blind because I have recon units, but these recon units only go out so far, so they're only giving me maybe an hour or two notice on a basically a regular timed game. And I, I need, I mean, I'm going to sleep at night, so I'm offline for six to eight hours. I go to work in the daytime, I'm off for another eight to nine hours. A couple hours is is not a good enough warning for me when I'm playing this game and I'm moving these units up. I want to know where the enemy units are at before I move into this area. Um, I've got, so I had a National Guard unit down here. I've got these guys here. Now you can see I'm sitting right on the city, right near the city, and I can't tell what he is unless I have a recon unit until I start engaging with him. And then over here, I have got a National Guard unit with another recon unit. What I'm going to do is split this unit. And what I will end up doing, <clears throat> unless I run into uh, some enemy forces, which I hope I don't. I've flown, I've flown quite a few helicopter missions around through here, and I haven't seen anything. But I know that there's somebody waiting in the city for me. I'm gonna once I take care of my known issues, I will send aircraft over here to fly just uh, patrol missions, and then that should take care of my issue over here. Um, if we come back over here and check, uh, Georgia and Croatia are going at it, or, well, it's the Russians in Georgia, which didn't, didn't really amount to a whole lot. Um, we got Rogue State. You're always going to run up with Rogue State stuff uh, for other peeps, and I'm not too. What I am interested in is the U.S. and the U.K. getting into it. And the U.S. is taking 20,000 casualties versus the U.K.'s 1,000. I think they're going to be able to handle that situation. And then we have Argentina with the United States. So maybe Argentina, possibly a player? I don't know. Um, Iran and Iraq are going at each other, and they're, they're, neither one of them has a, an advantage. So I think we're good there. Um, yeah, Brazil on the rogue state, uh, 11,000 versus 2,500. That's, that's not really too big of a concern. Uh, and then we have Iraq with India, which they're both pummeling each other. So when you see this, a lot of times what this is, is these units, they're, they're, these countries are only using crown units. They are not taking advantage of air units, and they suffer a lot of casualties, which for me works out great, because eventually I will probably end up having to engage both of these countries, and they're going to be weakened just because of that. They won't be able to build up a strong ground unit. Now, China and Japan, this, this looks good interesting. So Taipei fell. Let's go out and check this out. So we have Japan, Taiwan. Oh, Japan's got quite a bit of space over here in China. Japan is maybe going to be a player here.
Now, if we come over here and we click this gear down on the bottom right, we can come up here on the political view and we can see what is happening here. So Japan has pretty much engulfed China. And Myanmar, we thought Myanmar was going to do a lot. Well, Myanmar has expanded down here into, yeah, they're down into Indonesia and heading that direction. So that could be pretty interesting here later on. Saudi Arabia, see Saudi Arabia has gotten into here. And then we have Iraq. I think they're in an alliance together. Um, let's check real quick. Nope, it's not them. Saudi Arabia is in an alliance with Myanmar and uh, Iraq and Japan. So that's going to be interesting. Um, and they're not doing too badly. They're, they're about 300 points, 400 points behind us, something like that. Um, and then we can see what's happening over here where I've attacked them. Uh, both myself and South Africa are on the same team like we talked about in the past. This is the UK. So pretty much we're wrapping up Africa. Let's come over here and look in the U.S. So the UK is wrapping up the U.S. right now. That, that looks like it's going to turn out well. No, I did stick some units over here. And I'm probably going to end up pulling those out. I didn't realize the U.S. was or the, the U.K. was going to move through there as fast as they did. So I'm going to pull my agents back out of here. I will leave the one up in Winnipeg. And what I will do, I can't, he's, he's bombarding that. Oh, he's, he's landing troops down here. So it's just a matter of time. We are going to pull corruption on the Canadians. There is no cities up here. Oh, there is. He's landed up here already. That is Brazil. I think I will put one down here in Mexico. We'll see how that pans out. Okay, well, that's what we're looking at for today. I appreciate you watching. If you like these, please do me a favor. Hit the like button down below. And if you'd like to see more, hit subscribe. Uh, what do I expect by tomorrow? I expect by tomorrow we should have seized this city. We should have gotten into here and taken care of this. And tomorrow, probably later in the day, we should seize this city. And then we should just be mopping up down here in uh, Chad. And then I think my next move, I was debating between Sudan and Niger. I think I'm going to actually go with Niger, though. And seize these cities over here and then we're just a little bit away before we engage this other alliance over here that the Saudis are, are in. So anyway, appreciate it. Thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you back next time. Bye.